this is your first instructional video. The first thing that we want to do is we want to refine exactly what your swing anchor alignment is. We noticed that you were somewhere between center anchor and full front anchor. And so what we want to do now is to test and find out exactly where you were. I was guessing that you were somewhere about 65, 35 front to rear, but let's go ahead and check that now. The first thing I'm going to have you do is play some shots where you get set up, feet together, and then pull your right foot back until your right foot's in the center of your left foot. And then you're going to create about a six inch gap or so. Put a little bit more weight on the front foot, so you're going to feel about 60-40. From there, just go ahead and play a couple of shots. Okay, the next thing I'm going to want you to do is to pull that right foot back until the toes are even with the heel pad of your left foot. And we're going to create about a nine inch gap or so now. Again, put a little bit more weight on your front foot instead of your back foot. We're going to put this, uh, say, in that 65-35 range. Okay, the last one, you're going to get set up again, feet together. Pull your right foot back until the toes are even with the, the back of the heel, and you're going to create a little bit more than a one foot gap now. Again, put a little bit more weight on the front foot, so you're going to be about 75-25. You'll still feel a little bit of pressure on the big toe of the right foot over there. I'll have you video yourself doing those so that we can check to see how your head counterbalances that action. For me, the further away I got from center, the worse it got. I'm just a little bit left of center in my balance. So once we know exactly what that balance alignment is, I'm going to have you use that stance from now out um, during your warm up. So we're going to assume you're somewhere in that 65-35 range right now. So what I'm going to have you do is get set up. Again, you're going to pull the toes back until the toes are about even with the heel pad. Create about a 9-inch gap. Go ahead and get set up and just play some shots. So every time you go to the driving range, I want you to play you know, 10, 15 shots just like that. It does a couple things for you. Your subconscious mind inherently starts to realize this is where your balance alignment is best. Your head counterbalances that action the best, and then you develop the natural eye hand coordination that goes along with that. One thing I want you to notice is that when you set up with this sort of stance, you'll see how much of a closed stance you have. This is exactly what we want. If we stand 50-50 and then we go ahead and put more weight on the front foot, you'll notice my shoulders are going to open up. When I pull that foot back, it squares the shoulders up. We see this in your driver swing already, that when you get set up with your driver, you step in, you pull that foot back, and it squares your shoulders up. Again, that's a natural thing for front anchor golfers. When you have more weight on the front foot, your shoulders want to open, pull that foot back, it squares your shoulders up. So once again, that's your basic warm-up stance. Once you've got 10 or 15 shots and you feel like you've warmed up enough, the next thing I want you to do is just widen your stance. So you step in with that same stance. From here, you're going to move your left foot a little bit forward, your right foot a little bit back, making sure that you keep that ball position right where you want it. And you just keep doing that until you feel like you have your normal length stance, and then you're going to go through your set of clubs, you know, working on getting those feelings in the golf swing that we're looking for. Mm -hmm.